In a franchise littered with malpractice ever since the very first installment, this film does the most obvious thing ever and just brings it back to the basics. A Predator movie set in a historic time period? Sign me the hell up! Prey embraces every facet of that 18th century era that it can. Setting a predator against a Comanche tribe? It's just the best thing ever. And I now need to see one fight a group of literally anything. Throw a predator in feudal Japan, the Roman Empire, the ocean, hell, even the Great Depression, and I will eat it up. Amber Midthunder absolutely kills it in this film, and well, so does the Predator. I mean, come on. It has 10 pack abs. <laughs> Prey has a strong narrative that, although is a cookie cutter story, it does a very good job building up our protagonist. It brings inclusion to Native American people, and it's just an all-around great film that completely rejuvenates the Predator franchise. I am so glad that so many people are going to be able to see and enjoy it. Right? Oh, wait. Prey was released only on Hulu, and frankly, this sucks. This film was made to be watched on the big screen, and director David Trottenberg has said it was intended to be that way. As of 2021, Hulu as a streaming service has an audience of about 45 million subscribers, which pales in comparison to some of the other streaming services on the market. That is actually a third of what 20th Century Studios' parent company, Disney, has for Disney+. Now, there's a reason behind why Prey is on Hulu, and quite frankly, it's the worst reason possible. Corporate Mumbo Jumbo. You see, prior to Disney's acquisition, Fox had a deal with HBO Max for the exclusive rights to stream their theatrical releases. That's why you see Free Guy or West Side Story on HBO Max initially, and not Disney Plus or Hulu. Since 20th Century Studios produced Prey, if Disney gave Prey a theatrical run, the film would have had to have gone on HBO Max first. Then it would have gotten the opportunity to move to their very own streaming services later on. So, Disney opted to have Prey prove that Hulu could be a bigger platform that can carry its own big releases. And it's not like the Predator franchise hasn't been financially successful. Only 2018's The Predator really wasn't. And that could be for more reasons than just Predator fatigue. We currently are at a crossroads in streaming. Every company has a streaming service, and we are now at the point where projects are just getting canceled out of the blue because of financial write-offs. Most recently, Warner Brothers Discovery is catching heat for canceling Batgirl, which was fairly deep into post-production. The project was canned because they thought that there was no financial merit in only releasing it to HBO Max, and that the marketing costs weren't worth a full release to theaters. What's sad about this is that it's a product of the cinema landscape we are in right now. The mid-budget films just aren't as prevalent anymore. Let's look at streaming services trying to make the jump to theaters now. Netflix has been trying their damnedest to make their big franchise tentpole for years now. With subscriptions dropping, they bring out The Gray Man. That cost $200 million to make. And supposedly, it's a big hit on Netflix, so much so that it's getting a sequel already but I bet you didn't know that they released it to theaters before it went live on Netflix. And uh, so obviously, if the co-release streaming option is the prevalent option, it won't do as well in theaters. People will opt to watch it at home on a platform that they have. Another example, Dune. It was released in both theaters and HBO Max at the same time. And it did well at the box office, don't get me wrong, but it didn't kill it. This brings us back to Prey. It's a film part of a notable franchise that is actually a really good movie, and everyone seems to enjoy it, but it's actively being stuck on a platform where it won't be as prevalent. Who knows, maybe it bombs in theaters if it goes there. Studios are now either opting to A, just throw a mid-budget project on streaming and not actively promote it as much, or B, outright eliminate it from happening because they don't see the financial benefit of it in theaters. 
I am so glad Prey exists, and man, I wish it just got better treatment. I genuinely don't know how it would perform if it were in theaters right now, but all I know is that it's currently on a platform where it just won't do as well as it potentially could. And that hurts my soul. But thankfully, the word is spreading that the film is awesome. So everyone, go watch it and enjoy some 10-pack Predator abs.